Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Ayush and you are watching the Indian Dev. I am Nishan. So today we are uh, discussing an important JS interview topic. Yeah, so uh, like this is the series of polyfills in JavaScript. So this is the particular video where we are going to discuss about the polyfills that what is polyfill and why it is required, why it is uh, like having so much of hype in the interviews. So in this particular video, we will be discussing about polyfill only. So yeah, Nishant, if you can share uh, your views on polyfill. Yeah, sure, Ayush. Basically, what polyfill is uh, to provide modern functionality to the older browser. That's what polyfill is in the simple language. Chrome uh, support all the new JS features. But in case of Internet Explorer, like Safari, most of the browser are there which does not support the modern JS feature which are introduced by the community like ES6, ES7. So there are some method which is not supported by the older browser. So polyfill are the ways to get things work around in the older browsers. Okay, so now I got it. And if I can summarize uh, the polyfill, then polyfill is a piece of code that is filling the gaps in between the you know uh, the browser compatibilities like if we are having internet explorer that is a very old browser and uh, that may not support a lot of you know a lot of new features or new functions from the ECMAScript for example like if I can share something related to that uh, so if you will go on this uh, you know uh, MDN uh, web docs that is the documentation for JavaScript methods and everything uh, you will see that uh, right now I'm uh, I'm having this promise dot all documentation and from there you can always go to this browser compatibility and from here you can see that this promise dot all is available on all the browsers except Internet Explorer so in case uh, like if we want to run our code that is containing this method promise dot all in that case we need to write the polyfill of promise dot all so that our code can be uh, you know can uh, run uh, smoothly on Internet Explorer so uh, Nishant if I will I will say that uh, like why this is in so much hype why interviewers are asking this topic uh, then the only reason I understand is just to know that how much you know about the methods, right? Yeah, because uh, if we are introducing like some kind of a library, so basically these are introduced to, you know, uh, reduce the developer effort. But in the same way, you need to understand while implementing this, if you have a full knowledge of that library, because if you doesn't have the, like that particular kind of a knowledge, so you are lacking in the knowledge of implementing those kind of things. So that's why uh, interviewers are more curious to, you know, know about the daily basis method, filter, reduce. So interviewer want to know if we, you know, know about these kind of a topic and if these are not present, means if they can't be run in some of the browsers. So if we can come up with that functionality on our own, so that's the basic motto of these kind of a thing. And if I'll share my personal example with this, I'm using one of the array method which is in queue. So it's working in most of the browser, but in case of an Internet Explorer older version, it is uh, breaking the code. So with the help of a polyfill, I am able to fix this. If I doesn't know about how in works, work, so you know I am not able to fix that. Yet. So these the kind these are the kind of things you know you have to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that uh, you can see on this MDN web docs as well that uh, include method is not compatible with uh, you know with Internet Explorer that Nishant is dealing with in the development. So yeah, that's the whole uh, uh, you know whole idea behind the polyfills. And I believe now you understand that uh, uh, the simplest definition can be a code that can fill the gaps in between the browsers of JavaScript and yeah that code will be considered as the polyfill if i just wanted to use the filter method on any array so in case if uh, the filter is not uh, accepted with any of the browser then in that case i just need to create another method uh, that can be you know uh, that can be my filter or uh, something new filter so that i just need to create to fill the gaps in between the browser and that will work absolutely fine so yeah i believe everyone uh, now knows about polyfill i hope uh, you guys uh, understand uh, polyfill properly if you guys are having any doubt you can comment it out on the in the comment box and apart from that like if will i will write the code of uh, like my filter so it will be providing the functionality of filter to the older browser in the next upcoming videos we will be covering all the polyfills uh, that has been listed over here and you can find these uh, you know this list over the github repository and that uh, you can find the link in the description apart from that if you want any other polyfill you can uh, let us know in the comment section i believe uh, now polyfill is clear uh, let's move on to the next 
uh, or we can say the very first polyfill in the next video if you guys are new to the channel then please make sure to subscribe to the Indian Dev. and yeah thank you for watching mm -hmm.